<clears throat> Hi guys. Hey. <clears throat> so I'm back on the wallpaper, right? Well, wallpaper and or wrapping paper vintage. Um, I'm all about it right now. And um, I've been saying for months that I'm going to do wrapping paper or vintage wallpaper journals. And so I've started a couple of covers. And um, this is just so freaking cool. I love this wallpaper so much. And I had a couple of you group members send me some too. So that was really fun. So thank you. So I'm going to start digging in and using these. So here's the dealio today. I just got back from the chiropractor. Y'all know I fell down in my hoard, right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's been like a couple weeks or whatever. So anyways, I'm really sorry, but so I went to the chiropractor today. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit here is what I'm telling you. So there's no plan, Stan. I'm just, I'm just doing this now and I, you know how I do it. I share as I go along here and of course I got a mess because what I'm going to do is, oh, hi you guys. Hey, I'll turn on my thing up so we can gab. Um, so what I was going to do is I left my mess purposefully <laughs> just so you know, because <laughs> what I'm going to do is listen to this, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Sneako Pico here. Look, I got these from Hobby Lobby. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, right? So here's what we're going to do. Nobody clean anything. Just wait for me. <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, but seriously, what we're going to do is, not right now, but tomorrow or the next day, we're going to take all the scraps off our desk and we're going to alter paper clips, right? We have got to use these friggin' scraps. It's driving me nuts. So I am going to go clip crazy. That's what I'm going to call it. And we're going to clean our desk off and use all our snippets on our clips. That's what we're going to do tomorrow or the next day. So that's a uh, up and coming, right? <clears throat> okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm trying to turn this on, but I'm too excited. <laughs> I don't even know how to look for my own self on here, you guys. So I can even see you. I haven't even done this in so long. I forget how to do it now. Psh, I don't even know. See if I can even figure out how. Because <laughs> I want to show you this paper. Look at this paper. I'm dying over it. Look it. Oh. Okay, so on camera, I don't know what this looks like. But, oh, here I am. Hey, there's a couple of you guys here watching. Hi. Let me turn this down so I don't. Let me turn this down. Okay. Hi, guys. I know it's been a while, right? Anyway, this is like totally hot pink. Oh, I've been waiting to use this. I'm super excited, right? And um, it was a big sheet like this, so I had to cut it in half. It's the only way. It's the only way. Okay, let's see who's here. I'll say hi. Huh? That'd be fun. Hey, Angel. Hi, Tanya. I was just talking about you. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> I know. What are you guys doing? Crow's nest. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. I know. So I'm just screwing around. I'm just screwing around today. And I didn't even know what to call this video because you never know where I'm going to go with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just never know what's going to happen. Okay. So this was an old present it's even got the old tape on it and i'm leaving it on here it's got marks and it's messed up and whatever but but i really don't care because you know they're junk journals and um this is such a great paper i wish the camera did it justice but anyway so what i'm gonna do is i have all this great um vintage paper and i went to a sale you know how we do and they had this whole box it was like the whole box for a dollar i gasped you know, <laughs> out loud. My husband says, oh God. I said, come here. You have to carry this. <laughs> so I have this big box like this deep full and I picked out, here's my grungy paper. I picked out 
all the paper that I figured this is kind of sickening for me here, but I don't know, but I'll see, but it's pretty right. Um, and I like it, you know, but I don't know. I always say the sickening factor, you know, how sometimes, so I would like play this down maybe, I don't know, but anyway, but it's got some really cool, look at how pretty these are, you know, by the time you ink it up and put stuff on it, you know, and do whatever I'm going to do to it. I really don't know yet. Cause I have no idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. <gasps> and look at this. Oh, it's so pretty now. Um, it says best wishes and for you and things like that on it. But, you know, once we do it up and we can just stick a flower there or put an envelope here, or do something and cover it up. Right now I'm looking at YouTube and man, it's just not doing this paper justice. I'm telling you, this is so gorgeous. I don't know what year it's from. I don't really care, but it's so fun. Look at this one. <laughs> this is so fun. I used this before in a couple of journals um, in those 50s ones for the kitchen. I don't know. I did a bunch of them. So anyways, I just pulled all the paper that I thought that would fit this, what I'm doing here. And I just wanted to show it to you and look what I did with this. I've been having so much fun. Okay. This came out a lot darker than it really is, but and it's got the ring. See, this is my mom or my grandma's old photo album. You remember these covers, right? And it's kind of shiny and it's like got the threads in it or whatever. And these cool. And I thought this would be so neat to like, this would be cool just to uh, cover this big, wouldn't it? With the rings on the side. I just think that would be so fun, right? Hi, Patty. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. So anyways, I just think this would be fun, but I'm not going to make this big because, you know, we fold it in half. And so this is how I'm going to do it. But and then I'm going to what I normally do then is take my coffee stain paper and then I glue glue and then I go like this and then I, you know, glue it down like this and then I sew all the way around. And then this is my, you know, page for my signature is what I'm doing here. You see. But um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just leave it. I get um, 24 pound or thicker. So it's real thick. I could just, you know, sew these in. It would be fine. But but I don't know. I'm into the thick pages lately. I don't know what, you know, sometimes we go, we evolve through these things, you know. <laughs> so, so it's kind of fun. So it just depends what you want to do. But anyway, that's really cool. And so I was digging through and flipping through. And I came across a whole page with the glue marks and the ripped off pictures and whatever, you know, on the album. And I thought, this is super cool. I love this. <laughs> so I, of course, I photocopied it too. And I'm like, and I saved it on my computer and I'm going to use it. Look at the glues all messed up right here and stuff. And I just thought that's cool. So I'm going to use this for a page in my signatures too. And I mean... I know it's like going photo album me, even if it's not a photo album, but it's just cool. Watch when I do it. It's going to be neat. I swear. I'm going to try to like, I don't know, because, you know, this is all going to be background. You know what I'm saying? And if we write on it for a journaling page or if I put pockets on it or do whatever and embellish and yada, yada, you know, it's all going to be background. But shoot, I kind of like it just the way it is. I mean, you know, we pay for this. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just bought this book or whatever of, you know, design paper that's all textures. And it's like, dang, I got this right here. So what I did with this is I did a bunch of different experiments. I shrunk it down so I can make little journaling cards out of it just to see what it would look like. You know, I made a big tag out of one just to see how it would look, you know, just experimenting. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And then I, here's a couple more that are smaller and cut out that I don't know, we could just, I'm just experimenting, you know, and seeing how the heck it's all going to work here with that. So that's fun. And then this I shared in group. I made this from um, some real thin, rosy paper, obviously. And then I put sheet music behind it. And then, you know, I photocopied it like that. And then I had a nice file. It's real pretty because there's sheet music behind. And I shared it in group. It should be in a file somewhere. If you want this, it's somewhere. <laughs> 
it's somewhere. Just go look. But um, anyway, so I'm going to use this. And I made tags out of this too. A bunch of different shapes and kinds. And I don't know. I was almost thinking of doing a whole book just out of these red roses. But I don't know if that would get too sickening too. See, I just don't know yet. But um, it's fun just to brainstorm, right? I know, right? Hi. How are you? So anyway, this was fun. And then whilst I was in the photo album, I decided to copy some of the pages since these 50s photos are just cool, right? And this would be a cool, you know, journaling page if I backed it with some coffee paper on the side, right? And then left this like this. I mean, there are pictures of my family. That's me in the high chair right there. And that's my grandpa. And um, my grandma and, you know, when she was young and stuff, my auntie. And I just think this is cute, right? I don't know. I think it's cool. So I might use that. I don't know if I'm going to use those or not, but I'm sticking to this. And then we're going to just see. So this is um, a photocopy of, I'll show you, the paper that I'm going to use for the cover. Now look at the difference. Ain't that something? I guess I would have to get neon ink, huh? Because it didn't pick it up. That's as neon as my printer would go. <laughs> Completely different. So I thought, oh, well, that's cool. I'll use it anyway. You know, so, so, because I was trying, because I want to hoard this, you know, I've had this for so long, <laughs> but I have to use it. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my God. So I was trying to copy it and it won't copy. So I got to get, I don't know. So I got to get over it. And then there's this stuff. I don't know. It's really weird. I just don't know if I like it or not. It's just so muddy and red. I don't know. It's okay, but it's there. It's there. And then here's some more I did with the roses with the sheet music. It's different than this one. They're both kind of different. See, but different, but the same. But I did do those. So I have these and more of that. This is a different kind, but it's still with the glue and the ripped up picture and stuff on there if I want to use those. And then these are some scraps that I had left. And look what I did. I'm so dumb. So I <laughs> I was gluing them down to a file folder so I can cut tags out, you know. And then, I don't know, I left it on my desk or whatever. And then I came back to it. And then I ended up putting paper on this side too, like a big dork. So, oh, well, I have double-sided. So this is just like a scrappy piece that I'm going to, I don't know what, it's file folder on the inside. So... I can cut it up and, you know, make tags and whatever I'm going to do, you know, with it. So I don't know. And then this one is the same. Um, hi, Gigi. Bye, Gigi. <laughs> hi, Mary. And then this one's the same. It was just scraps of leftovers that I had. And then I backed it with coffee paper. So now I can just cut out, you know, and then layer on top, whatever I'm going to do. And then this one is the same. Oh, it's wet. What the heck did I do? Did I spill something and don't know it? I guess I did because here's the wet spot. But, you know, that's okay too. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. What the heck? Hi, Mary. But anyway, this is an old piece of actual vintage wallpaper I have um, over here. And here's the file folder. So I was just a piece. And um, so I can, you know, use tags out of this too. So that is my pile that I'm going to work with anyways. For this journal this next journal that I'm doing and I've also done some pre I'll show you here I don't want to mess up what I'm doing here because I'm supposed to have two sheets okay here it is all right and then what I did is I went through and made up a whole bunch of tags now they're just constructed they're not done or embellished or even inked some of them. This one just happens to be. But anyways, I used up my scrappies, you know, all the scraps I had. And I just went through and made tags just plain, you know, constructed. They all have copy paper on the back and they all have some of the, some of the colors. Oh no, this one's wallpaper. It's a border actually. This one's cool. Ooh, this has my dot paper on the back. Oh, this one's neat. This one's like some kind of weird onion skin or something. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, so I have all these various tags. I already made up. I made a couple banners. See? It's a couple different kinds of shapes and all these different colors. And look at, could you die over all this? 
I just can't stand it. So I have all these bases made, see? So all the base work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing all the base work. So now I decided, well, I'll do the cover. And I'll just come on and show you guys what the heck I got cooking. Right? I know I love the blue, too. I can't stand it. So I'm excited. So what I'm going to do now is, all I'm doing is, I have a, my husband likes these shepherd's pie. Can you stand it? I hate baked, I hate like, this kind of processed food, you know, it's just, I just can't stand it. But anyway, he likes it sometimes. And you know, when I'm lazy, like right now, <laughs> you know, when you're all beat up or whatever. So we had this last night for dinner. I'm like, Hey, <laughs> Hey, I need that box. Oh, I'm sorry. My lips are dry. I got hate mail last time I did that. Sorry about the lip gloss. <laughs> okay. So now all I'm doing is, hi, Robin. So <clears throat> I just glue stick. It's no big deal because I'm going to sew around. But I do realize, though, that you got to kind of use a heavy glue stick because sometimes what happens is you get spots that you missed. And then it lifts up, you know, and you don't like that. So then you end up having to put something over it, ribbon or, you know, something or sew it again, or whatever. So if you're going to do it like this, I just get like a base coat on, and then I go over it again to kind of get it thicker, you know? Kind of use a lot of glue like this, but I don't know. I don't feel like you could also take a brush and use your wet glue, you know, whatever wet glue you got, and just spread it out too, you know? But I just don't. I don't know. I Once I get on something, it's hard for me to get off the way I'm doing it. So I just, I just have done it this way. <laughs> and I just haven't stopped. But, but, I don't know. Now my mom's doing it. You know, you guys know that. Betty Calkins is her name. And she's in my group on Facebook and stuff. And now she's doing it. And she's trying all the stuff, which I did, you know, when I was new and everything, but I don't know. It's like, I just want to make them. I don't want to try all this new crap right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to do it. Like, she's like, yeah, but this and yeah, but that. And I'm like, oh, you do it. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? You do it. And then, because we're trying to see, I've only done that, like the pamphlet stitch, for instance, when I'm doing my signatures some people sew you know real pretty fancy ways and all that I still don't do that I've only been in it a year my mom's only been doing it a few months but you know when you start doing this junk journaling you go crazy with it you know it's crazy my mom said to me I'm scared because <laughs> you can you know you can just go a little berserko about it seriously and I did, too, in the beginning when I first started. I did. I went a little nuts out. Admittedly. <laughs> but I've regained my, um, what do you call it, consciousness? <laughs> I, I've pulled myself out of the trap, out of the web. And now, you know, I control it, not the other way around. Dang. Man, it took me for a year, I'm telling you. It's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to do dishes. I didn't want to do laundry. I didn't want to do anything. I still don't, but I do it. Because oh, all I want to do is play in my room. Isn't that sick? <laughs> my mom says, I'm scared. <laughs> it's all I think about. Oh, it's funny. I think we like it so much because... Well, I guess there's a lot of reasons. And it hits so many different areas. That's what's so fun about it. You can do it the artsy side and, you know, paint and do all that kind of fun stuff with the gesso and the, you know, arty side. Or you can just, I don't know, I kind of do it all. So it's really fun for me because I like all of it. <laughs> I like every side. That's why it's taken over my entire house. No, 
I did move into the, into the, okay, I wanted to fold this over, but I bet you the corners are going to be weird then, right? But I am going to sew. I want to just fold this. So we'll just see how it works. Okay, let's just practice here for a second. It already ripped right here, but I got another sheet. So I'm going to just fold it all in like a present, right? And then I'm going to lay this part right on top of it, right? So even though it's going to be weird, I do have this for the inside cover. Unless, hi, Dinah, unless you think I should save this for another outside cover. It'd be the only two I would ever make. But then I would have to find something for the inside cover for this. You know what I mean? Like I could do fabric or something but I was gonna just match it you know what I mean but I don't know it's my only sheet I could do one more cover out of it I don't know <laughs> what do you guys think so I could just do muslin on the inside of this but I don't know it's paper you know or I could just do a um I don't know save it I know right I could do one more cover because I'm going to do, you know how I get on a kick and I got all my wallpaper out. You guys don't even know how much I got sitting over here on the side. This is just the beginning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I have it all out. And what I do is I clean in between projects. So, you know, if you've watched me that, you know, I did the sewing and I stay on it. You know, I stay on it for two months because... I have a lot of sewing stuff. I collect, you collect. So now I've collect wallpaper. So I got this one and then I'm gonna do this one. And then, you know, I'll probably do two more. And then once I do that, then you get orders, see? So then I do those. So sometimes, you know, I, I you know, so I might be on this for a little while. You get what I mean? So uh, somebody's gonna message me and say, <gasps> Did you have any more of that pink paper? <laughs> I want a journal just like that. Somebody's calling me on my phone right now. But it's like a video call. Who would be doing that? Maybe my kids. I don't know. But I can't go run after it. So, so whoever's calling me. Too bad. I can't run after it. <clears throat> I hate this. I'm at the point right now with the glue where it's, you know, down here. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to fold it, I guess. I don't know what else to do. But if I save that piece, Angel, then what do I do? Oh, my God. They're calling back again. Okay. Well, then maybe it's important. I better go see who it is, you guys. Sorry. Juanita, Juanita, are you watching me right now? You guys, you know I have hip problems. <laughs> I'm going to smash you, Juanita, for making me walk all the way out there. <laughs> Juanita, why did you do that to me? Why are you video calling me anyways, Missy? Must be a mistake. She must be, her butt cheek must be hitting it, her phone. <laughs> right? Sometimes people do that. They don't mean to be calling you. She's never called me before. You know, one of the girls in group. Juanita. You guys know Juanita, don't you? Is she the one in Hawaii? I think it is. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, Angel, if I keep this piece of paper and do another cover, what do I do for the inside then, see? 
See, now I'm going to have it like this. And I need an inside piece and I need to reinforce the spine. Don't let me forget. I get on here gabbing and then I, and then I forget what the heck I'm doing. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'll glue this. I thought maybe it was one of my kids or my mom or something. So I wanted to answer it, but okay. If I had a nice green, I was just discussing this with mom, you know, a uh, green fabric is hard to find just a plain. I mean, we got to kind of just dye it, you know, I guess. Because I can't find a regular, just nice, just a nice green. Because I would just lay it in, you know. But I need something for this right here. One second. Let's see. I just use the edge of the box usually, you know, the flap. And I just glue it in. That's all I do. What do you guys do? I don't know. Is that how you guys do it? You know, the flap on the side of the box has got all the nutrition facts. <laughs> That's what I use. All the nutrient facts. My mom's going to be so mad she's not home today. She's in town shopping and she's going to miss me. The one day I go shopping and then you do a video. That's probably what she'll say. <laughs> okay, so this is a little big. A little fat because when I tried to shut it, it kind of, okay, okay, oh, you use post office envelopes with the Tyvek, yeah, I have some of those too, you put Tyvek right down, right down here in the middle, I got some of these, look at these, I just sent my mom some too, she's like, oh my god, these are so cool, <laughs> Because they're Tyvek, but I'm trying to get them right now. I can reach. Oh, they're Tyvek. But they got the cool loop-de-loop -loop on this side and a little hole right here. I mean, just for fun. But the cool part is, is it's got that big window. So I sent her a handful of these because I had a I ordered some from the post office. It's for express mail. But um Anyway, I know what you mean by that. Duct tape. Hey, that's a good idea. I don't have any duct tape, though, right now. I do somewhere, but I don't feel like getting up to get it right now. So I just use the edge of my box, and so it's double, double cardboard, and I'm only going to do one signature, so I feel like it's totally fine. Don't you guys? I mean, double cardboard. I think that's okay. I mean, I don't know. That's how I've been doing it, and I never had any complaints yet. Although, if it ever does happen, you know, somebody just message me if, if something breaks or something, you know, because sometimes we use them and use them and use them, and maybe they might break. I don't know. Sometimes when we embellish tons and tons, my, my mom discussed it and talked about with other people too, you know, it depends how heavily you embellish your pages. And I happen to be a heavy embellisher. So you have to really know what you're going to do so that you know what kind of stuff to use, especially for sewing in your signatures. If you embellish heavy, then you have to use a heavier cording. Okay, I have wax thread in my shop, and I've never had any any issues with it or whatever, but it's pretty thick stuff, you know. And ever since I came across this, I haven't used anything else because you could you really would have to really pull, you know, pull on it to get it to break. So, so this is what I use, but you know, I don't know. <clears throat> So, April, I'm using a, um, oh, why? Well, 
I do have some actually. I, <laughs> I was just telling my husband, I have all these books. I need to start using the covers, but, um, I do have some ready that I'm going to use, but I don't know. I just don't, I mean, I don't know. I just don't, I guess. Cause you know what? I like my book covers. And a lot of times when I use a regular book cover, I don't cover it up much because I like the cover. I don't know. I guess it's just preference. And plus, I don't know. I like to use garbage. <laughs> but I was just telling my husband the same thing, April. I was just saying that I've saved all these books, dude, and I'm not using the covers. What am I saving these for? I got to start doing it. Okay, so now I have all these books, plus I have all these boxes. So, you know, I just need to shut up and work. <laughs> I got to get used in everything. You know, I've got about 50 books saved for the damn covers and I'm not using them. April. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I don't know. I got to get used in it, I guess. Okay. So the moment of truth. Am I going to make another cover with this pretty? Look at how gorgeous this is going to be. Oh my gosh. Or do I set it in? And use it. Oh, I don't know what to do. And I have to decide right now. Because this is what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what to do. If I thought I could find something. What do you guys think? Should I just put muslin on the inside? Is muslin okay? I don't know. I know. I like my old books too, Angel. I really need to start using them though, really seriously. I just like them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I do this the way I do, I guess. But let's see. Let me think for a second. This isn't what I was going to do right now. I was just going to go put both on, but now... Now I'm now I'm thinking I should save that because that's my only sheet, but it would be pretty on the inside too. You know, it would just be all matchy matchy. And that would be the end of it. See, if I just cut it off and put it in. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's look through here and see. Let me see here. Let's see. Couldn't I find a neutral to put inside? You know, like a, or would that ruin it? You know, I don't know. I could just use gold. Yes. And then, because see, okay, here's how I do it. This presents, using this stuff presents issues because I'm going to tell you what. Listen, if I have all these tags made up. Okay. I can't, I mean, you can, but that's not how I do it. I'm not going to have my signature pages, which I showed you there. Are a lot of them look like this and then put this on top of it. I just don't do it like that. So on the signatures, when I have a page like this, I use a planar tag because I want this to be, to shine. You know what I'm saying? And then when I turn the page and it's a plain page or just coffee stained paper, then is when I pull these out because then it pops off the gold. Do you see what I'm, do you see what I'm saying? Otherwise it loses its oomph if you have them all muddled together like this. I mean, in my opinion, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's how I do it. I know. So I don't know. So we'll see. But I'm thinking if I maybe use a plain, a plain inside, then I could take, I know, right, Angel? Then I could take these pretty pretties and use them because they coordinate, you know, from the front. So I think that would be all right, you know, so it still matches. So I could use these pretty tags on the inside cover that match, but only just have, do you think this gold would be okay? You think? I know, right? 
You like the gold or should I look for a different color? I don't know. I kind of like the gold. It kind of looks good, right? I don't know. I could look for a different color, but you like the gold, huh, Angel? Okay. I think it looks good. I mean, we, you know, a floral and a stripe. I could look for a stripe, but I don't know. I think the gold's pretty too. Okay, well then let's just do it. Because I just think that looks pretty next to it, you know. Because when I do a pocket right here, yeah, and then I'll put it in and it'll look good. Okay, gold, gold. Gold it is. You know what I'm going to do next though? I have so many, aren't you guys like that? I have so many journals I, I have in the works um, that I'm excited to get to. And so, you know, you collect and collect. So right now I'm collecting because I know that I'm going to do, um, I want to do vintage dolls next you know, soon. Oh, I'm so excited. And I found these doll books, you know, like, um, old vintage doll, you know, how they, you know, crochet like their dresses and like Barbie clothes and like, and then somebody sent me this, it was in a bunch of junk and I just love it. This is little doll. I'm going to make like, a, um, I don't know what out of it, a charm, I think, or something, you know, but anyways, um, I got these cute dresses in my shop. Oh my God. And the bows to match for the hair or just, you know, whatever. And they're just so adorable. And they have the little organza bag underneath. So you can put like, I don't know, little things in there. Oh, <gasps> I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm going to make these tags or put them right on signatures or what. And then I got the little green and white little bow. I'm, I have these in my shop now for um, embellishing. You know, I have all the colors. This one, these are the red ones. And I have black and white, and red and white, and yellow and white, green and white. Anyway, they're just really cute. So, so I'm all excited because I have it sitting over here, you know. <laughs> I know it's off the subject, but oh, they're so cute. I love these. And I just got them, so... I know. They're so cute. Mary, did you see them in the shop? They're so cute. I just love them. So they're a couple dollars a piece, you know, but it ain't too bad. A couple bucks for one of these. They're really pretty. And I just love the embellishing and stuff on them and the little bag inside. I don't know. I don't think I could make this for two or three dollars. So I figured what the heck I'll get some and then I'll put some extra in the shop to see if the girls like them. If you do, then I can get a couple more colors. Hi. Hi, Miss Angel Call Creations. <laughs> uh, I went to chiropractor today. Is that what you're asking me? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was in rough shape. Rough shape. Oh, it's your daughter? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. That's fun to have mother daughter, you guys. We should start taking pictures of the mother mother daughter duos and group, so that we can all see who the mother daughters are. Wouldn't that be fun? We should do it, Tanya. I think we should do it. Would you guys do it? Take a mother daughter picture and post it in group, because I think it would be fun. Because everybody likes it that my mom is there too. You know what I mean? It's just kind of fun that way. And we could do um, mother daughter photos. <laughs> of the duos in group be fun I'm having a heck of a time here I don't know why I don't know what the issue is but whatever I'm trying I'm trying to cut this straight I can't cut straight I do have a cutter it's a Fiskars and y'all know I hate Fiskars because it never cuts straight Anyways, so I, if you're going to buy a cutter, you got to spend the money and get a heavy duty one because the cheapo Fiskars ones don't work very good at all. It's irritating. I know this is so cool. This is so cool. If I can get it together here without... <laughs> if I can get it without oh you guys go live together oh that's fun do you guys do it like together in the same house or do you have like split screen do you guys know how to do the split screen and still go live together oh my god I don't know how and I've been asking and no one tells you it's like 
what is the big secret? Like, whatever. <laughs> I can't get anybody to tell me how to do it. So I don't know how. Oh, that's right. You have a channel too, don't you, Tanya? I forgot about that. I'm just so busy, you guys. I don't even mean to be rude. I just, I'm so busy. I can't. You know, because I have deadlines and stuff now, you know, because I'm on the Tsunami Rose Design Team and, and I have orders, you know what I'm saying? And so I can't um, watch as much YouTube as I would like anymore. Oh, well, how do you do it? Oh, you're together in the same room doing it together? Or do you guys go live and then do split screen? Right? Do you know how to go live and do the split screen? So she's on one side and, and the daughter's on the other. Do you know how to do that? Because that would be so fun. I've been wanting to do it, like have like somebody to do it with me, but nobody knows how to do it. And I don't know how. Okay. Well, how do you split screen, you guys? Will you show, teach me how? Because that would be so fun, you know? To have a member come on with me and do like a little ditty. It would be fun to have in group. I would love that. Especially you guys being New Zealanders and all. That would be fun, right? Well, is it complicated to do the split screen? Like, can you just tell me like how to do it right now? Or do you want to like eat message me or something? It's complicated. I would sure appreciate it because I've been trying and trying to learn how for so long and nobody will tell me you got a video well will you link message me <clears throat> and link the video for me so I can just click it and because on my iPad, oh my god, I have an iPad, and half the time, you guys have an iPad, half the time you can't. It's just so much easier with a link, because sometimes with the iPad, it stinks. Can you do that? I would love that. I would totally watch. Because I need to learn how. It would be so fun. I just think it's more interactive, and people would enjoy it, and and we learn from each other a lot, so... You know, it's fun like that. <coughs> I'm in your mom's friends. I'm sure you can find me through her. I'm trying to cut straight, you guys see, and obviously I can't. I can't even get that corner, so. So I'm going to have to break this out, even though I guess it cuts straighter than I do. Right? Yeah, it just would be fun, I think. And I haven't been able to do many videos lately because... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, hey, I'm new to YouTube and new to all this. I don't know how to do all this crap. <laughs> I don't know how to do all this. So... There. I guess that'll be okay, even though you can see my green up there. But once you get the signature in and all the embellishing on, I don't think we'll be able to see it. Because you know how you put the stuff on the... I'm going to put pockets on the bottom. So what I think I'll do is I'll push it all the way up to the top so we can't see it. Because, see, I cut it too short. <laughs> cut it too small! That's okay. Because I'll just put it up here like this. And then this part down here, I'm going to have the pockets. Because I like to do, to reinforce it, you know, with pockets. Because it's only a chipboard, you know. So I always put the pockets there. That's strategic for me because it reinforces the cover more, you know. It makes it more thick. So, yeah, I would really appreciate that because... It would be so fun to have guests come and people come and I try to get people to do videos on 
in group, but I don't know. Some people don't like to do them and they just enjoy watching too, so. So it's fun. I know I love this gold too. It's going to look really good, right? We'll see how this is going to work out. <laughs> you never know, you know. You always try to anticipate what. But. And this is why I don't like to take orders. My mom and I have been discussing this. I don't like to take custom orders because it inhibits my creativity and I just worry too much about everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then if it's, you know, sometimes I start a journal and I have this thing I want to do, but it it moves in a different direction sometimes when you start doing it and then it's like, what the heck happened? So it's just nice to be able to just, just do it and just let it be what it's going to be and not have any restrictions, you know? Yeah. Boy, this stuff's soaking in. Jeez, I can't get it thick enough. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ah, already screwed up. And this glue dries fast, so you can't really screw around, but I'm screwing around. <laughs> I don't mean to. I think I got it. There. Hey, yeah, thumbs up are good. That works out, too, because, you know, then it... What the thumbs up does is if, if I get enough of them, you know, on the videos, it, it puts my videos over on the sidebar, on the side like that. You know how you watch videos, and then, then it has suggested videos or whatever? Yeah, then it'll put mine up there if it's got enough. <laughs> If it's got enough, thumbs up. There, this will be good, right? With the gold like that? I don't know. I have corners, too. I can use corners if we need to reinforce the corners. If we want to. And, of course, I put it on crooked, too, you know. <laughs> Can't ever get it completely. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then when you start bending it, then you get these weird buckles. See? Sometimes that happens. So I just keep doing it and bend it. And then I just, you just got to keep pushing that glue in and pushing the glue down. And just keep doing it. And let it, because as it dries, it shrinks up see there we go and now I gotta do it on that side too because it buckles see when you use paper and when I was new I didn't understand you know it, it can it can really be a pain in the butt paper covers because of the buckling but um, that's why I started using more fabric but if you just give it a minute it, it works out okay this gold is shiny, though, and you can see every little, every little thing. Just like when you wear shiny clothes and shiny fabric. <gasps> Not good on fat rolls. <laughs> no satin, no satin. <laughs> okay. See, I do weddings. See, that's why I know this. That's why I know these things. And I watch what not to wear. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Hi, Emma. Well, you missed some. I had a bunch of crap out earlier. I was showing everybody what I'm doing with this vintage wallpaper, Emma. Hi, I haven't seen you in so long. 
What have you been doing? I know you're busy making stuff, aren't you? Are you still doing your... What were you doing? Soap? Is that what it was? There. There. Ooh, this is going to be so nice. I love it. Okay. So now I'll save this gold and this pink for the next person who messages me and says, oh my God, tell me you have some more of that pink paper left. <laughs> okay. I'm hiding it away for the next desperate person. I know I've done that. I did it to Sagita when I ordered mine. Oh my God, Sagita, do you got any more of that fabric? I need that. <laughs> It was so funny when she did that video and she's like, okay, guys, <laughs> not digging anymore from not taking. <laughs> that was so funny because seriously, you fall in love with something and then you message the person and be like, oh my God, I want that. Oh, and they just put it all away. It happens to me all the time. And then I just put it all away and then I got to go dig for it all again because somebody fell in love with it. It's like, oh my God, I can't do it like that anymore. I got to just make what I make. Okay. Okay. So that's done. Ooh, looky, looky. Pretty, pretty. Okay. So I have this one done then. And I have this one done. Totally opposite directions. This one. This one is going to be so stinking cool. I, I don't even want to tell you what I'm going to do with this one yet because it's a big secret. <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun. Okay. Okay. So now, now once I do this, then I got to figure out what my signatures are going to be like. Right. Okay. Okay. I know. Don't you love that one? And so this one, I know, look at, isn't that to die? Can you stand it? And it's, and bought, you know, it's texture and stuff. I love it so much. And then the inside, I took the cream. See, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and look, it says hungry man. You can see in the middle. Can you see it? The words kind of in a certain light. You can see it says hungry man. See it? <laughs> ah, it's so funny. But once you get everything in here and whatever, you won't be able to see. But isn't that going to be pretty? Oh, I'm excited. This one, I'm going to go in a direction you're never going to guess. Okay. Now is the signature time. And this is when you have to decide. Well, at least that's what I do. Decide. What the heck you're going to do? So I'm going to use this. I, I just don't know if I'm going to use these in this one or not. I want to. Aren't these cool, though? I just love these. Look what I did, Emma. I photocopied my vintage photograph albums. All the pages that didn't have any on there, and they were just glue. Isn't that cool? All right. So I'm going to use this and this and this. I'll use all these. I don't think I like this one. And these are... Tag boards. Well, I was going to use them in this, you know, because they look like photograph album. I don't know. I just can't decide yet, but I will. I'm going to have to decide here in, in a jiffy. Because now is the time. You're doing signatures. You got to figure out what the heck you're doing here. So all of these I will glue and stick on my grungy coffee paper on the back, I guess. I don't have to since I used 24 pound paper, but, but I don't know. I'm only gonna do one signature, so I don't know. I mean, I don't have to, but then you got this stark white piece of paper on that side and it's like, oh my God. Right? Hi, Michelle. So, and then this is super grungy. I do extra grunge and glitter is what I put in my 
That's how I do mine. So first of all, I can just start with these because these I have to cut. And these are already cut, so. So, okay. So all I do is glue on here and glue, and then I sew all the way around. That's all I do. And then um, since these are so thick, it's really nice because, you know, when you're doing this, you can leave them open and make pockets, you know, for the side. So that looks really nice. Um, the one thing I do like, though, is I like a finished sewn edge. So I might sew. Hmm. Eh, I'll just sew around. Make it easy. Make it easy, right? So, Stacy, I'm going to dig your book out again because I love all your little clips. When I do the clips, I'm going to get everybody's clips out. I'm going to set them all out, you know, for inspiration. That's how I like to do it for fun. That's how we started that tags, the tags, too, you know, a little wall of inspiration that we do. I like those, too, because... Tags are like my worst thing ever. <laughs> I hate tags. I just hate them. It's agonizing because you can spend so much time on one stupid tag. Oh my God, I got books to make, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can spend days on tags. Like what? You know? And that's what happened in the beginning. You know, you go through that phase, the tag phase. Everybody knows it. You know what I'm talking about. It go, You go crazy with it. I mean, you could spend, well, hours, you know, on one tag. You certainly can. You know, and there is appropriate spots for tags like that. But I'm making journals to write in. And yes, I do like to have some cutie tags. But the thing of it is, is... I've decided I like embellishing my pages, you know what I'm saying, more than I like embellishing the tag. So what I do is I make and embellish up my pages more and leave my tags maybe a little plainer is how I've decided to do it, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Tammy. So that's just kind of how I've been doing it. Because, you know, I like my layer, my stack of sacks. You know how I stack them all up and embellish them all up and put pretty things on them and all this crap and the ribbons and the tickets and all the shit. <laughs> and then you do all the shit to the tag and then you put it in the thing and you can't see it anyway. So I'm like, to heck with that. You know what I mean? I know, right, Michelle? I know. It's so fun. But the deal of it is then you put the tag in a pocket. You can't see it anyway. So it's like, what the heck did I just do all that work for? And now I can't even fit it in the dang pocket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of these. How the heck do you even fit them in there? Oh, eBay. I know, right? Hi, Lisa. So anyway, I'm really just making fun of the whole thing, you know. I do enjoy all of it, but sometimes it gets ridiculous, you know. <laughs> totally ridiculous sometimes. You know, I don't know how I got this little extra edge here. I'm just cutting it off. I don't know what the heck happened there. So I'll just glue these. I have white thread in right now. I like white thread, but and it's pretty and sweet, you know, but um, I don't know. The contrast isn't there. I like to have a contrast. Green would look good on here, huh? Green thread, maybe. I know, so I don't know. I don't know. White thread would be okay, but if I'm doing grunge, I like to have black. So we'll see. So I have pink. This will do, I don't know, the reds are just freaking me out. Like I said, I almost want to do, I almost want to do a whole red book, but I won't. But I won't. Because then I know that would be too sickening. 
I know green would be good, huh? A dark green thread. Because I like to have that contrast. And then when you use white thread anyway, and then you go back to ink, well, it turns brown anyway. So there's no point in me using white thread. <laughs> you know? You go back and ink, and it's like, oh, okay, well. Well, it could ink first, I guess. And then sew over it. So the white thread would stay, I guess. I could do it that way. So I have little dogs, you know. Well, one died, but. So now I have Romeo, but. So, you know, it's a Shih Tzu. And, you know, they. They really like to be with you, you know. <laughs> he can't stand to be away from me. So I take him everywhere I go, you know. And it's funny what happens. People, the reaction of people, you know, is what I'm talking about. Now, usually people love my dog because he's just, you can't not. I mean, he's just, you know. But sometimes people don't, they don't like it, you know. <laughs> and they have this disgusted look on their face, you know what I mean? Or demeanor or something. I can tell they hate me, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? For bringing my dog. And I have, um, it's a service dog, so I can bring him in anywhere, even restaurants. And I got a Shih Tzu because they're hyperallergenic in the hair and all that. It's, there's no um, allergies or anything like that with Shih Tzus, you know. Uh, but, you know, people don't know that. You know what I mean? So. Uh, no, I just use regular needles, and then I use this thread that's in my shop. Um, it's waxed thread. That's what I use. But you can use, well, if you don't get it at the dollar store, you can use Baker's twine. But you got to watch out for the twines because the twines are wrapped together. That's how they make one thread. They take two or three or four or six or 12 or whatever, and they... And they wrap it like this. So sometimes the wrapping comes undone. And I've tried using the twine many times from, like, say, the dollar store. Because it's really cute. And, you know, whatever. But it breaks. And it comes undone. And it's just not cool. This kind here. So it's colored. So they use a white and a pink. And then they wrap it like this together. You know, it's twisted. And it's just real soft. And um, you go like this, see? So there's like five plies or something in there, you know? And it just breaks. So, so like I say, I've been doing it for a year. And like I say, I, I fell on this wax thread. And so now I, now I just use it. And I didn't link my shop or anything when I put this up here. I didn't think to do it, but... But all my shop and my all my stuff is in my group there, and it's all under the group description box or pinned post, all my links to everything. Unless there's anybody here that can link it up for me if you want to look at some thread. I think it's five dollars for seventy five got or six dollars for seventy five yards of this or something like that. Can't remember exactly, but but it's good stuff. Okay, now I'll do this one. Oh, dental floss? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Dental floss, yeah, it would be the same. I suppose. But that would be good. But I just use anything. You can use um, hemp. Jute, you know, just depends on, you know, what you're doing. But I just happen to like the wax thread. And I can get it in a bunch of different colors, too. That's what I like. I haven't done that yet because I don't know how everybody would, like, get into it. But but I got this plain stuff right now. It's actually a really top seller. So, And I have bulb pins. I forgot to tell you guys. But I haven't listed them yet. 
I mean, I have my regular multicolor and I just got black now back in. So black is available. So that's really good. But, but I got a new mix and I haven't listed it yet. I'm just going to call it vintage mix because it's black and I got a bronze and a silver bald pins is what I'm talking about. So I'm excited about that because I had this vendor I was getting multicolored bulb pins from, and they were regular, you know, just regular. They were black and silver and gold, and there was a, like a red and maybe like a, you know, a couple different colors in there or whatever, but it wasn't anything crazy. Well, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they switched the colors, and now there's like orange and this neon yellow, and I'm like, what the hell is this? So I call them, and I'm like, okay what happened to the regular colors here what's going on oh it's the same color it's just the lighting <laughs> i'm like dude i assure you okay it's not the lighting <laughs> i know the difference between orange you know and gold there's a big difference okay so <laughs> oh my god so anyway, so I had to find a new distributor. So, so anyway, so I got black now and bronze and silver mix. I just haven't listed it yet, but I do have multi. And what I did with my multi ones is I mixed in now some extra black, some extra silver and a couple other colors. So now I have like this big bowl that we dip in. So there's a whole bunch of different colors. Now it's actually kind of fun. Sometimes you want a color. And I like the white. You know? I like white. <laughs> hey, no, questions are good. That's why live is so awesome, right? Because you couldn't ask. You couldn't ask, you know? Yep, I have um, the gold, the tiny little gold safety pins in my shop too. I love them because I use them all the time for tons of things, pinning stuff on. So, yeah, I do have them. I was going to show you, but I don't have them sitting right here. I know I do, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in there. I got a lot of stuff in the shop, you guys, for all these little things that we need all the time, you know. Oh, here's the little blue and whites. I got the little blue and white ones, too, the little bows they're so cute for our tags and stuff i love it but yeah i do have the pins and i have brad nails or brads too they're these kind i have a pastels and jewel tones with the little brads so they're i like those too but shoot i can't find them anyway just have to go look i guess <clears throat> okay so now I glued these so I can't make any pockets out of these ones. Unless I do it on the front here. So there's three sheets for my signatures. See? Ooh, I like, but I'm still going to sew around them. So there's those three. And then this one, I love this. Don't you love this? Oh my God. <gasps> I love it. I'm not doing anything particularly. This would be good cover too, isn't it, you guys? Maybe I should save this for a cover. Oh my God, I know, right? Maybe I should save this one because this would do two covers, you know? Hmm, I hate to put, I hate to use that one for a signature page, <laughs> but I do that a lot. Oh wait, here's an extra one. Okay, well, here's a little one. I know, right? I'll save that big piece. Here's a little piece I could use for a signature page, but I know I love it so much. Okay, this one we'll use for sure. Because it's pretty, but... But... Not as pretty as the other ones. I know, it's fun. Super fun. I just love these. Vintage paper. It's so fun. Then I have wallpaper back here. That's going to be next to, oh my gosh, I have some great wallpaper. Wait till you guys see. 
I even have some of the Waverleys from England. Oh my gosh, with the foxes and the horses, you know, and the guys on the horseback and everything. Oh my god. So fun. So we'll see. I don't know how long I can stand to be on one genre. Sometimes I just get sick of it. And then I was doing those file folders, you guys. I must have stayed on those file folders for I don't know how long. Because then I got orders, you know. <laughs> this is coffee. It's heavy coffee. I do really heavy coffee. Really, really, really heavy coffee. <laughs> I like the grunge. Hey, man, I figure if you're going to do it, do it up big. And then I put um, glitter inside, too. Look at this side. <laughs> Where I hit the oven grate. There you can see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I use a coffee bath. 9 by 13 pan. I pour the coffee in there and some acrylic glitter paint. Just a gold or multicolor or champagne. I use that color too. Glitter paint, extreme glitter paint. You know that stuff from Walmart. It's cheap. Well, it's actually not that cheap. It's the most expensive one they got. The glitter is always expensive. Glitter paint. And then I just dip and bake. This doesn't like glue. It's curling and stuff. This one isn't liking it. <laughs> this one's not happy with this. Yeah. I don't know what the wallpaper is going to do. Because the wallpaper that I have, like, I want a coffee stain up, but you know it's got glue on it. So it's like, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this <laughs> with the wallpaper, but we'll see. Oh, look, there's a mark on here. This is um, Hallmark wallpaper, uh, wrapping paper. Ain't that something? It's funny how the wrapping paper and the wallpaper look the same. So funny. Yeah, I put in a little paint. Sometimes you put in um, different colored glitters, you know, like for Christmas, I put in, um, you know, of course, red, you know. <laughs> and Valentine's, I had red glitter. And then sometimes I use gold. And then what um, was really pretty is that shimmer paint, that shimmery stuff. Oh, my goodness. Because what happens is in these pools right here where it pulls up, you get that a uh, shimmer right there. You know what I mean? So it's really fun. I love to use different colors in the coffee sometimes. It's kind of fun. Greens and blues look really good with it, too. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I could paint it on. That's a good idea, Tanya. With a brush. I'll have to think about it here and see what the heck I'm going to do, huh? <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. What did I do? Am I out of paper now? Let's see. What the heck? So here's one sheet. I think that's big enough. I'm going to have a extra over here but I could make it small a small page smaller one. Oh, I love this so much it's so gorgeous I just wanted to come and hang out with you guys it's not like I'm doing anything miraculous or anything <laughs> I just haven't done a video in so long and I haven't seen you guys in so long I figured I would come and hang out while I'm making my cover and see what's going on. And then I'm going to go lay in my bed with the ice pack and a TENS unit <laughs> and some coffee. I'm out of cookies, dang it. I don't have anything sweet. Whatever am I going to do? I hate that when that happens. <laughs> so I might have to settle for toast. But listen to this. I don't even have peanut butter. So I am really down in the dumps now. <laughs> I'm really down in the dumps now. No chocolate. 
no peanut butter, no nothing. Just have plain coffee. What is the world coming to? I like this one because it's got tape. There's tape marks. I just think that's cool. I don't know. I like it. I'm not getting rid of it. It's cool. Okay, so I got this extra bit hanging out over here, but I have an extra bit over here, so I might just cut this off and stick it on. Who cares? And I'll sew it up. Whatever, it'll look like Franken paper, right? Or not. I don't know. I like Franken paper. But what I could do is make a, when I get to this spot, make a flip out or something right here. So it kind of masks that I, that I did that. I don't know. Yeah, I made my own um, glitter mist with, well, I use Bare Minerals. I had a white that I used. Oh my God, it was so pretty. And so I like white on white. And so I used, here it is right here, white, this glitter mist on white paper. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. I love it. It's the only white eyeshadow I had. <laughs> but I love the white on white. It's just something about it that I like. Yeah, I like Franken paper too, so I think that'll be okay right there, Emma, don't you? With a little seam. You can't even barely tell, really, can you? I mean, I could sew down it or whatever, but I don't know. It's all right, I think. I think it's all going to be okay. Oh, my mailman. I hear her. I'm supposed to have a ton of mail today, I bet. So I have people say, did you get this? Did you get this? Did you get this? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. So I should have mail today. I haven't been able to even walk out and get it, but my mailman's so great. Franken paper. Franken paper is when it's like this. I'll show you. When you got a whole bunch of tidbits. And you just put it all on and like sew it all. And you have sew marks, you know, like Frankenstein does on his forehead. I didn't sew all this yet. I just glued it down. But And you just sew over all the seams and it gets all crazy. And then, and then you can cut out like tags out of it or whatever. Like those tag boards I used to make. I did it with this too. All the extra scraps I had. So now I can just sew, 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 sew. And... Just put a bunch of crap on it and I don't know. <laughs> Call it Franken paper. There. Cool. See? This is going to be cool. Never heard of it, Tanya? Well, that's because you weren't hanging out with me. <laughs> Where are you? What about this stuff? This is pretty. Look how dusty pretty that is. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Oh, <laughs> I don't know though. It does, even goes with all these crazy colors I got. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> but it's really pretty, isn't it? It doesn't really go with what I got going on. But I guess we could have a soft page. But that is just beautiful, though, isn't it? I almost hate to use it for this. Maybe I'll save it for a cover. Do you guys think? I know it doesn't really go, does it? I don't know. Everything else is so bright. Let's look and see what else I got. I know it's so beautiful and soft. I know. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, more of the bright roses. See, I'll use this one for sure. You think I should use this one? Because all of it's like this, you know? I know. Isn't it pretty? I know. Look at this one. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Lisa. I didn't see you here. Why didn't you say hi to me? Dang, girl. <laughs> Dang, girl. Did you just get here? I know. Aren't they pretty? This one says best wishes and like stuff on it. But I know that when I do it, I can just cover it up. You know what I'm saying? You just got here, Lisa. 
Are you still coming to Seattle this summer? I hope you still message me so we can like meet halfway or something and have lunch. We should meet in Redmond. It's probably an hour from Seattle. And it's an hour, at least an hour from my house. So we would both have an hour trip. I know it would be fun. We should do it in Redmond. Are you going right to Seattle? So we can meet. Because otherwise Seattle would take me all day. I don't think I can handle that. Driving all the way to Seattle. Oh my God. It would take me all freaking day with the traffic and everything. But if we do Redmond and we do it at the right time of day, see, I know all the tricks. We have to be off the roads by two o'clock or it's just impossible. Seriously. So um, we got to get up and meet, meet and eat, <laughs> meet and eat. And then, and then get, because, oh my God, girl. But what do you want to do, Lisa? Do you got um, any room, like bags wise, so I can take you to the best thrift shops in Bellevue? <gasps> Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh, she's in Duval. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, Bellevue, I'm telling you, because it's the rich, you know, Bellevue. And then you go to their Goodwills and it's like, dang, <laughs> a broken cup is $2. What the heck? What? I'm like, you realize this is broken, right? <laughs> you know, I could go to the dollar store and get a brand new one. You realize for a dollar, you get it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Where is the manager? You know, <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I have this loop in Bellevue that I do and, um, Oh my God, it's just so fun because we could meet in Bellevue too and shop and eat. <laughs> shop and eat. No, I don't know what you want to do, but <laughs> be fun. But if you're on a plane, you can't like shop and then you got to, unless you send boxes back to yourself, <laughs> which you very well could do. That'd be fun. Of course, me and you health wise, we'll be lucky if we can get out of the car. <laughs> right, Lisa? <laughs> oh, okay. You're driving. Oh, shit. Well, we can go get a whole truckload of stuff then. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That'd be fun. Okay. Well, then we'll see what we feel like when you get here. See how we're feeling. <laughs> I'll say, can you get out of the car today? <laughs> More like, can you get down your steps today? <laughs> uh, I mean, otherwise, you can come all the way here if you wanted to come to my house. My husband would like to meet your husband. He looks really nice. We could barbecue or something or whatever. I don't know. Be kind of fun. My husband drinks lots of beer, <laughs> but he's very mild tempered, so. So it's okay. He's not a wild beer drinker, you know. He's very quiet. I'm the loud one. All right. <laughs> so you decide what you want to do. But I do love shopping in Redmond, let me tell you. And I like eating in Redmond. <laughs> no, really, you should spend, like, if we had enough time, seriously. Because, Lisa, listen, in Redmond, they have... Um, you know, the mall, the Redmond Mall, which is, you know, it's a big deal. Shoot. You know what I mean? And it's outdoors and you can walk around and they have all this good food. See, I'm all about eating. <laughs> and you're skinny. You don't eat anything, do you, Lisa? Come on now. <laughs> uh, what about this one? I don't know. It's kind of sickening. I don't think I'm digging this one too much. I like it, but I'm just saying, I don't know. I know. See, I got to fatten you up while you're here. Where should I take you? Let's see. <laughs> right? I got to fatten you up while you're here. Okay, so am I going to stick these in or not? This is the thing right now. Ha! 
<sighs> so am I using this? I guess I am. Photograph album stuff. You guys, should I use this? It's cool. It would give it a cool element, right? It really would. We'll see. I think I'm going to do it just because I'm sitting here doing it. I might as well. Might as well. That's what I always tell my mom. Might as well, hillbilly. Okay, we're going to use it. This is so cool. I was going to use it for a cover, but I just don't think it has enough wow factor because it, it copied so dark. You know what I mean? It's just not enough wow factor. Speaking of wow factor... Who watches The Voice? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm in complete love with Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I love her. I'm like, girl, she's my sister from another mister. <laughs> oh my God, I love her. And she has my name. I'm like, what? Sean's like, oh my God, that is so you. <laughs> you act just like her. I think it's so funny. So I love her, right? But, you know, everybody has their own, you know, opinion about you know obviously who they like so I'm just all about Kelly Clarkson you know and um because I don't like who they had last year what's her name oh my god Miley Cyrus Ugh. so anyways um I'm all about Kelly Clarkson so I go to my physical therapist you know and she's really cool but she's like real you know I don't know doctory <laughs> and she's like Oh, that Kelly Clarkson. She's just so annoying, you know. <laughs> I started laughing to myself because it's like, oh, it's no wonder she don't like me because I'm just like her. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. Okay. Bye, Lisa. Oh, my God. You missed it last night. Oh, you got to watch it. I'm telling you, Mary. So it's on tonight again, right? Or no, Monday and Tuesday night. Oh, really? It's not on tonight? I'm so bummed. Dang. Anyways, I love that show. And it took me a long time for me to even like Adam. But now I like him. He's grown on me. And Blake, I would just die if I got to see Blake. Isn't he just the cutest thing with his sparkly eyes and just little southern boy? Oh, my God. I'm in love with every one of them. And I love Alicia, too. She's just the bomb.com. So I just love that show. <laughs> uh I don't like the, I don't like how they do it, but I know they have to be different than American Idol, but you know, cause first they got the, what do they call them? The, the battle rounds. Now, now it's the knockout rounds. The battles are where they sing together. I hate that. And they pick all the weird songs and now it's the battles where they still sing, you know, two together, but but they're separate singing. Oh, it's weird. So now, oh my God. And it was saves and craziness last night because of those people that were there. I can't remember everybody's name, Mary. I know I love Blake. I could just die. Can you stand it? My husband's really mad at Blake because, you know, the whole Miranda Lambert thing. My husband loves Miranda Lambert. Oh my God. <laughs> You know what I mean? So he's completely pissed off at Blake for going with Christina Aguilera, which also was on The Voice. And my husband says, how can you leave Miranda for Christina Aguilera? She's sexy, but not like Miranda. Uh, but I guess Sean says, my husband's name Sean, is Miranda didn't want to have the kids. She wants to have a career. And Blake wants babies. So, I know. I know. But can you imagine going for Christina Aguilera? <laughs> Blake, I mean, come on. That is just the weirdest combo I've ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? I can't even see these two together. I just can't. I mean, how did he swoon her? How did Blake do it? It must have been really easy. <laughs> must have been really easy because he's just got that sparkle, you know, and he's so damn sexy. But Christina must have just been like, dang, you know, <laughs> a country boy. 
Oh my God. She must be so in love with him right now. I don't know, but I couldn't stand it. He's so dang cute. But, you know, she's like this pop rock star and crazy hair and whatever and makeup and all this shit. And Blake's all like pancakes and, I don't know, cowboy boots, you know. How are they going to live? <laughs> what kind of kid are they going to have? Oh, my God. It's going to be so confused. <laughs> you know? Oh, but it's kind of fun having two parents that are opposite sides of the fence, you know, because then you can have both. It's super fun that way. Okay, so is this getting boring yet? Watching me glue paper to paper? <laughs> are we having fun yet? Gluing paper to paper? I suppose I can be done now. I just wanted to come say hi to everybody and show you what I was up to and get you up to speed on on what I'm doing here and what's coming up next. <laughs> yeah. There. There. Okay, I got one left. One left. This is cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a whole dang glue stick just for doing this. But this is cool. And then we'll count how many pages we got. Yeah, I know. I've been missing them too. I just haven't, I just haven't been able to do it. Just haven't been able to get to it. There. I don't know if it's Gwen Stefani. Yeah, you're right. It's Gwen Stefani. <laughs> I know I was picturing... What I was doing is I was picturing, I think it was Gwen Stefani, but then I had Christina Aguilera's song in my head. <laughs> oh my God. That's terrible. See, I don't watch TV much, but, but I do know it was a blonde. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one. Either way. But I did have the right face. I did have the right girl, but just not the right name. But either one, oh my God. Either one. My husband's mad, so it doesn't matter. Now he watches Miranda Lampert videos and just says, oh my God. Oh my God. Well, how could he leave her? Oh my God. <laughs> uh. Okay, bye, Michelle. Thanks for stopping. Okay. There. We're done anyways, Michelle. I just was coming in to say hi. I didn't really have anything really going on. I just wanted to show you the beginnings of how to do this here because now I have to sew and you can't see me sew anyway so let's see how many pages I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ah, that's almost enough ain't it God, I embellish my pages so much that I'm thinking nine pages. Nine pages might be just good enough. We'll see, though. Now I'll sew all around. And then we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is so going to be cool. Look at how cool this is. I love it. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. I got to get off my butt, see if I can walk. <laughs> I know. Okay, you guys.